Good morning, everyone. So this wonderful morning, it's uh, 38 degrees. We're here in uh, central Mississippi, and we're gonna get ready to go do a chili dip. So yesterday, um, we came out here and got in the water, and we had a lot of fun with it, and people were yelling and you know jumping in and jumping out and all that kind of stuff. Son of a bitch. All the way under there it is. Enjoy it. All right, you oh, on. You guys got to stay in for 45 seconds. No fucking way. <laughs> 45 minutes. <laughs> Mike, 45 seconds. Oh, oh, Get in there. Hold it. No, no, no. Stay. Oh. You got to stay. You got to stay and enjoy it for a minute. I'm looking at the sun rising over your shoulder, and you're literally steaming. Dude, you've earned your coffee for the day. One of the videos, one of the talks from our Get Your Head on the Boat series, like the mental, like mental strengthening series, right? Mindset is about controlling your face. And um, this comes up in many different topics on just controlling your expressions, controlling your emotions, um, controlling that, that need to like lash out or, or gain attention through these emotional outbursts. And a lot of the times that comes through discomfort and stressful situations, we find ourselves doing things like that. Maybe you know someone who's like just over dramatic with everything. <clears throat> so this morning's training is to counteract and control those emotional outbursts. So I don't have an exact temperature on the water, but it's really freaking cold, right? <clears throat> so instead of jumping in and jumping out and yelling and putting on this big uh, you know, display, my goal here this morning is to walk in right, not jump in, to walk into the water, sit down up to my neck, right, hold the position for 45 seconds without making a big deal, control my breathing, right, and then simply walk out, not run away from the river, just walk out and then remain out in the air before grabbing a towel, racing for my sweatshirt and trying to draw, dry off and get out of discomfort, right, I'll remain outside for another extended period of time, maybe another 30 to 45 seconds before then getting to my towel, right? Go on 30, so 25, I'm going on 30. It's cold, right? Just try to control my breathing. I'm very uncomfortable right now. But I'm trying to keep a neutral face. I'm trying to control my body, my composure, right? I'm not racing for the towel. It's a very interesting thing because most of the people who you talk to about SEAL training, they're like, dude, I can never take the cold water, right? And the interesting thing is sitting in the cold water, although it's extremely mentally challenging, it's physically challenging too. But of all the things you do, as far as running and you know carrying logs and boats and all these really extreme physical tasks, right? Just sitting there and being uncomfortable and controlling that experience, right? It's a mind game. But that's one of the biggest things that breaks people in the SEAL training, right? especially when they throw things at you like this. So now I've been standing out here outside the water, really cold, right? 
<clears throat> for almost another full minute and a half or something like that. I'm not sure exactly the time, but it's been a little while. And then what'll happen is, like an emotional roller coaster, they'll say, get back in the water, right? And you're like, but I thought I was done. And then you get back in the water. Maybe for another 15 seconds. This is where a lot of people break. They were in discomfort, and they made it through the discomfort. And then, although they succeeded in making it through the discomfort, they avoid getting discomfort again, right? But we have to realize that life is not comfortable. Another 15 seconds. With these challenges that we have, we can't avoid them. You can try to avoid them, you can try to hide from them. Obviously, I can avoid going in the cold freaking water, right? But the challenges that life brings your way, you can avoid the one, but there's always gonna be another one. So how you control yourself in these situations that you have in your life is gonna dictate what kind of life you live, right? Because hard times will find you. Stress, fatigue, challenges, they are going to find you. How you keep your composure, how you keep your head in the game, and how you handle those situations will dictate the outcome of those experiences in your life. So don't be a bitch.